Direct Language Acquisition Research and Language Teaching. Now the question is that all that second language educa uh, educational research that we have been talking about in this course, what impact or what proposals does it give regarding the teaching of second language in classrooms? Because as a teacher, we are interested in how to teach a specific um, second language in our classrooms that would facilitate its learning in our students. So, if I am to be overly simple, simplistic, I would say that second language acquisition research has influenced two main pedagogical proposals uh, recently. That is, two main teaching methods uh, or proposals to teach a second language um, differently. So, what are these two proposals? One is focus on form in meaning-based curricula. So, second language acquisition research actually highlights the significance on the focus on the form or the structure of the language when the curriculum is based on making meaning of the language. Extremely important. So, you see the interconnection between the form of the language and the meaning it conveys. So, form and function. Number two is communicative language teaching. So, the other way to, to, to teach a language is to teach a language without focus on the form or the structure of the language, uh, but to teach it communicatively. In this module, we will be focusing on the form meaning interconnection that is proposed by second language acquisition research. And in the next module, we will discuss communicative language teaching. So, if we are talking about form, focus on form, there are four options that second language acquisition research tells us with, uh, that might help our learners. One is input processing. So, we look at how the input or the, the forms of the language that we present to our learners, how do they process it and then how do they use it. And then there is this focus on input enhancement. How can we enhance or how can we enrich the in language input we are providing to our learners regarding the structure of our language. So, it, it tells us different ways which are uh, helpful or not so helpful. Again, in form-focused uh, output, research actually tells us how to use, how to teach a language or to allow our learners to use a language so that they are constantly thinking about how the form of a language is related to its meaning. But in any case, it is the form or the structure of the language which is very important. And then we have negative feedback. Uh, we allow the learner in this case to form a hypothesis or to, to form an assumption about how the language works. We allow them to to make their own assumptions to make mistakes and then we provide negative feedback. Now, having said that, let me remind you, negative feedback does not mean strongly coming, um, clamping down on mistakes or to, or to be strict about the mistakes that the learners are making and to sort of like humiliate the learners um, with a very strong negative feedback that they feel demotivated. Negative feedback is only that when the learners make a mistake, then we provide evidence so that they can notice their own mistake. They, we allow them to notice their own mistake and we subtly form up um, in a certain way, in a subtle way, not very explicit, we provide a negative feedback 
we have to be very careful how negative feedback is provided because this can also demotivate our learners. Then there are two related pedagogical or teaching related issues. Uh, if you are using this focus on form, second language acquisition research tells us that the choice of linguistic form in um, where the focus is on the language structure or language form is very important. We should not choose lots of the different structures together. We should not use a structure which is too uh, complicated for their age. We should not use a structure which is more complex before um, allowing them to pay attention to structures which are comparatively simple. So how you construct your teaching uh, is important. What you choose to teach is important. And then uh, its benefits will again depend on individual factors, what kind of background they are coming from, and on the learning context. So although the focus is in form, the environment of the learning, your relationship with the learners, the, how much anxiety they go through will all affect their second language learning.